All right, welcome. I am going to do a tutorial on. I'm going to do a one, two, about a three part. Yeah, I'm going to do a three part tutorial on installing different types of mods. Uh, for my first tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the site I use and uh, the the rock friction fix and the clean water tweak from ov dot co.uk um i'm i know there's another site you can do it at let me google it real quick um spin tires mods that this one i think lt yeah here it is all right spin tires at lt is another site you could use however i do not use it um so i'm not going to be covering it so first off, you want to come to this link right here. I'll put it in the description. Um, you'll come to this page. Now, when you come to this page, you go up to support, or support community form, and you'll come to this page. You will have to have an account to download from this site, but however, that is way too easy. It's like an email address and a password. Too easy. Um, I'm already logged in. If you need a tutorial how to log in, that's a different video for a different type of person. Alright, so once you come to this page, after you, you know, make an account, you go to this, uh, to the form. Over here in the top left area, you'll see Download Manager, right here. You go ahead and click on that, and you'll see you have Download Manager, you got Categories, you got Spin Tires Full Game, Spin Tires Legacy Game, and Tram Simulator 2016 DLC. Um, if you're working a Legacy Game, it would be the same exact install as a Full Game. However, I have the Full Game, not the, I'm not using the L, uh, Legacy Beta. So I'm going to go ahead and do the full game. Click on full game and you get all these right here. Now, I've already predetermined everything I'm going to go through up in here. So I'm just going to click on the rock friction fix. Boom. Uh, what this does is, is makes uh, this mod has, you know, you can just read all this and Excuse me. And uh, what it does is it makes the rocks more lifelike when it comes to friction and like grip and all that. Uh, it's a great mod to have, especially when you're doing uh, trail maps with a lot of rock climbing in it. And it's it's a great tweak. What you're gonna do is you're gonna download it. This message, this box is gonna pop up. Go ahead and save file. I already have it, so I'm not gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna download. It. I'm gonna save that little internet resource. Now, once you have it uh, downloaded. You're going to want to bring all your files to the desktop or wherever you feel comfortable putting it, usually in the downloads folder, wherever. I already have it downloaded, and I also already have my spin tires um, directory up. All right, so this is the spin tires directory from Steam. I got that up, and this is what you want. Um, it's, it's not going to have this. It's not going to have this. It's not going to have this either. That's a whole. Nother, that's the next video for Spin Tires Plus, but I'll walk you through that eventually. All right. For when you download the the rock friction tweak, you're going to have models and plants. So you go ahead and click on my. Or, or let me back up a little bit. For where you're going to put these files, you're going to have to click on media. You're going to go to classes, and then you'll have all this. So you have models here, models here, plants here, plants here. And that's for the rock friction fix. All right, for let's just for per, uh, training purposes only. This right here is going to be the file you just downloaded. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to walk you through how to do it. This right here is the files we just downloaded, and the the uh, your original Steam or Spin Tires directory has all the uh, the vanilla files in it. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up models. And uh, just as accordingly, you're going to open up models in here, and you have all these. Now, what you're going to do is for this, you're going to want to look for Big Rock A. As you can see right here, Big Rock A is right there, top. Boom. So, what I suggest doing is making a copy of this specific file, like I did here, and making a backup of it just in case something goes wrong. That way, you don't have to reinstall the game, lose all your vehicles that you like so much. So make a copy of it, then all you simply do is drag and drop, remember we're, we're pretending this is the modded version, we're going to drag and drop here, 
and there you go. It's modded. Make sure you make a copy of this and remove it completely before you add the modded Big Rock Alpha or A. After that, that's just for the models. Now you gotta go to plants. Now you got Lang Spruce, uh, Small Rock A, Small Rock B, Small Rock C. And that's all in plants. All in plants. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for Lang Spruce, which is, I just saw it. Uh, Lang Spruce A, right there, boom. You're going to go ahead and delete that one and replace it with this one. Remember to make a copy of the vanilla file. And the same goes along with uh, Small Rock A, Small Rock B, Small Rock C, which is all right here. Just remove and copy and paste. Boom. And it's modded. Too easy. Now, for another mod that I, 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 I use, which is called the Clean Water Tweak. All these are on the same side. I just preloaded them. That way it's so easy for the video. Um, the clean water tweak, what it does is it makes the water a little bit more clearer. That way you can see the terrain underneath the water. I mean, it doesn't make it like, hey, there's no fucking water there. It's just like, hey, it's a little, it's a, you can see a, like a general path there. It makes it just a hint easier, even though it still looks like water. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download that one. You're going to save it. You're going to unzip it. Um, again, I already have it. All downloaded and installed. Same thing as last time. You're going to go to classes in the Steam directory or the Spentize directory. This time you're going to go to waters. Boom. You got blue, brown, dark, flood, and green for your vanilla, uh, quote unquote, vanilla files. Now, um, in your your download, your modded uh, download, you just you just downloaded. You have the same exact files. So what you can do is you're going to copy all the files from the vanilla version. You're going to make a backup of it, and then you're going to take all the modded uh, files, and you're just going to put it right into that folder. It's too simple. So, now that you've gotten that done, you can start it up. You can see how it, how it did. Um, I'm, not going to do, I'm not going to start up the game because I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. And the, uh, video number three that I do, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you how everything happened. Until then, though... This is what we got. Um, just, this is just for the rock friction fix and the clean water tweak. Um, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. And look for video number two, which was gonna, I'm going to show you how to install Spin Tires Plus. And then video number three, which is going to be a very quick video on how to install maps. So thank you for watching, and I hope this helped.